Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and in today's session, we're going to be talking about method of sections and we'll be trying to solve a problem based on this method. So let's go ahead and do that. Here it goes. Determined by the method of sections, the actual force in the member EB of the truss as shown in the figure below. So this is the member EB in which the actual force is supposed to be calculated. So what initially we need to do is we need to find the reaction at supports. This is a hinge support and hence we are going to get two forces. All right. So let us write this as um, let us say this one over here is HA since it is horizontal and this over here be represented by VA. And if you watch this point, this point B, we have a roller support and hence there is going to be one single vertical sort of a reaction. Let's say this is RP. All right. So essentially, I'm going to be using this equations of equilibrium and we'll try to solve this. OK, so let's start with the first one. This is summation of F of X is equal to zero. If you watch carefully, how many forces are acting in the horizontal direction right now? 15, 15 and 15 and one more is there. HA. So 15 plus 15 plus 15 is 45, 45 plus HA, all of this stuff. Is going to be equal to zero so we've got the value of h a is equal to negative of 45 kilo newton all right secondly i'll use this second equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero how many forces are there so we've got v a and we've got r b anything else no both of them are upward and hence positive so v a plus r b is equal to zero and you can write v a is equal to negative of r b okay now i'll go ahead and use this third equation of equilibrium most important one moment about a specific point is equal to zero now the point about which moment is to be taken is this point a because on taking moment about point a you will have a single equation and these two forces will not come into the picture as they're going to pass this point a okay so the forces that you are left with is this rp and these 15 kilo newton forces three forces all right okay so let's start off with this rb if you watch carefully this rb tends to produce an anti-clockwise moment at a okay this is the force this is the perpendicular distance force name is rb and the perpendicular distance is nothing but four so let me just write this is going to be positive four times of rb what else is there 15 kN force this is the force and this is the perpendicular distance how much 2 okay so let me just write this down 15 multiplied by 2 and if you watch carefully this 15 kN force produces a clockwise moment at a and hence negative sign again this 15 kN force produces a clockwise moment at a hence a negative sign name of the force is 15 multiplied by this is going to be the perpendicular distance af this is the force this is the perpendicular distance that is 4 so let us just write this again minus again 15 i'm talking about this force okay if you watch carefully this is the force and this is going to be from here to here this is going to be the perpendicular distance which is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 so 15 multiplied by 6 is going to be equal to 0 you just need to solve this equation okay and r of b is going to be equal to 45 kilo newton so we've got the value of rb okay if we've got the value of rb we've got the value of va in negative and we've also got the value of ha now in the next step we'll go ahead and we'll use the method of section to find the actual force this actual force in this member eb of the truss Okay guys, now we're going to be applying the method of sections to find the actual force in this member EB. All right. Now let me make a section. Okay. Something of this sort. Let me show you. This section line is obviously going to pass through this member EB. And now this section curves rather is going to be approached by forces from both the direction from the top as well as from the bottom. From the top you can see the forces are orange in color. And from the bottom, you're going to see the forces are green in color. Okay. Uh, 
we have to find the actual force along this member EB. So let us just say this is F of EB simply and let's say this is point D and this is going to be F of what? F of DE. Similarly, this is going to be F of CD and this over here is what do you call F of AC. Okay. Now we need to select a point about which we're going to be framing a moment equation. So let me just write this summation of moment about a specific point is to be equated to zero. The criteria of selecting that point is you should have one equation and you should have this F of EB. Where is this F of EB as the unknown force in that particular equation. So when you select point C, okay, and when you try to frame an equation, you will have this F of EB as the unknown. Let me tell you why. Watch this carefully. This point C is above the section curve or above the section and hence the forces below the section are to be considered. Now those forces are green and blue in color. And if you watch carefully, both these forces VA and F of AC are passing through this point C and hence they will have no role to play. Let me, let me just make a circle. Okay. These forces are going to have no role to play. Okay. The ones which have been enclosed in a circle. And if you watch carefully, this force F of CD also will have no role to play in the moment equation when you take the moment about point C. Why? Because it is passing through this point C. All right. This force F of DE also will have no role to play. This is the, its line of action is also passing through point C. Please see where the mouse is. Okay. And hence, let me enclose this also into a circle. So what are the forces? which are going to have an impact in the moment equation. Those forces are, let me highlight this. Um, where is the highlighter? Here it is. Here, here we go. So this force will have some role to play in the moment equation, this minus 45 kilonewton force. Okay. Apart from that, uh, this force also will have some role to play in the moment equation. And we have got one more force. That is the only unknown force. Now guys, remember this. Choosing the point okay, about which the moment is to be taken is, is a very clever thing. Always remember, you need to select that point which lets you frame a moment equation. In that moment equation also, it would be better if this F of EB, that is the unknown actual force, becomes the unknown force. Okay, And with that one single equation, you can calculate this single unknown. That's, that's the idea behind having a moment equation. Okay. Um, so let us go ahead and write the moment equation about point C is equal to zero. When you do so, you have this HA. This produces an anti-clockwise moment at C. HA multiplied by this perpendicular distance too. So let me just write this. HA name is anti-clockwise moment and hence positive. And the name of force is HA multiplied by two. Okay, what else is there? So we've got this RB. This RB also produces an anti-clockwise moment at C, hence a positive sign, name of the force is RB, multiplied by, this is the force RB, upper direction, this is the perpendicular distance, which is equal to 4. So RB has to be multiplied with 4. What about, is there any other force? Okay. At about point C, we have to take this force also, F of EB, this green colored one. Okay. So the forces in green and blue are to be considered. Okay, so F of EB is also producing an anti-clockwise moment at C and hence a positive sign. Name of the force is F of EB multiplied by this is F of EB and this is the perpendicular distance. How much? Again, 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 0. You just need to put in the values. Um, where are they? HA is equal to negative. Negative of 45 multiplied by 2. Okay. What else is there? Plus RB. How much is RB? It's 45. Again, 45 into how much? 4 plus 4 times of F of EB is going to be equal to 0. You just need to solve this equation. 4 times of 45 is 180. 180 minus 45 into 2. That's 90, I guess. So 180 minus 90 is 90. Positive 90. So positive 90 goes over here. Negative 90. So it becomes F of EB is equal to negative of 90 over 4 and negative of 90 over 4 will work out as negative of 22.5 k in kilonewtons that is all right if you want to remove this negative sign you can just write this as f of eb is equal to 22.5 
kilonewtons. With that, you can write a C over here, which indicates that this member EB, this member EB is under compression. Okay, simple. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do share and like this video. Recommend this channel to your friends so that all of them can benefit. I'll be back with more such videos on engineering mechanics and engineering drawing and more topics and subjects also. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.